Hello everybody. So today we are going to do several types of budgets and I have a problem here where it's going to start with the sales and production budget. We're going to do the direct material, direct labor, factory overhead, cost of goods sold and selling and administrative expenses and then I believe we're going to do a income statement. So all of these are linked together. As you read in your text, what we have to do is we always have to start with the sales budget. Sales budget, then production budget. Then we can do the direct material, then we can do the direct labor, and we can do the factory overhead and so forth. So there is a certain order to this madness. So I have estimated sales for December. I have estimated inventories as of December 1st. I have desired inventories at December 31st and I have direct materials used in production. Okay, so all of these we're going to use to potentially create these budgets. I've used the format that we would use in our text, so let's get started. Like I said, we'll probably have two or three, possibly four or five um, videos on budgets. So, we start with the sales budget for the month ending December 31st. Our unit sales volume becomes comes from your estimated sales for December. So that's the $3,200. For the bird house, for the bird feeder, we're saying $3,000. We're saying that our unit selling price for the bird house is $50,000. And we're saying for the bird feeder, it is $70,000. So then we can take our $3,200 times our fifty thousand so that gives us a hundred and sixty thousand dollars in total sales for our birdhouse and we take the three thousand times the seventy dollars for our bird feeder so our total revenue from sales is going to be three hundred and seventy thousand that is the sales budget so now let's look at the production budget so expected units to be sold this came from our sales budget or our estimated sales for December. So I'm going to use our, we're determining that we're going to produce 3,200 birdhouses and we're going to create 3,000 bird feeders. We're going to add our desired inventory as of December 31st. So we have down here that we want so we have down here desired inventory as of December 31st and we want to pick on the finished product so for the birdhouse we want to have 290,000 for a bird feeder we want 250,000 okay so let's add those two together our units expected to be sold plus our desired inventory and that should give us 3490 and 3250 now we need to do our less our estimated inventory as of December 1st okay so we had in our finished products estimated inventory at December 31st is 320 what that means is we already have 320 bird houses and we had 270 bird feeders so we don't have to produce those so then we can subtract these. That gives you 3,170. So the units that we have to produce is 3,170 birdhouses, and we have to produce 2,980 bird feeders. Okay, so that takes care of your sales budget and your production. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the next tab, which is our direct material. If there's anything in red, I need this information. Okay, so I have to, for my direct material purchase budget, I need what I have for my production budget in order to complete what I need for, um, for the direct material. Okay, so on this information over here 
we have, again, our estimated inventory December 1st, our desired inventory at December 31st, and I'm highlighting the, the part in red that we need. Our direct material used in production to manufacture our birdhouse, to manufacture our bird feeder. So, for instance, our birdhouse, it takes 0 0.80 feet per unit of wood, and it takes 0.5 pounds per unit. And the bird feeder, it takes 1.2 feet of wood, and it takes 0.75 pounds per unit. I also have my anticipated cost of purchasing my beginning and ending inventory of direct material. So wood is $7 per feet and plastic is $1 per pound. So I need these. So required units for my wood on my birdhouse. So I have to produce 3,170. Sorry about that. And it takes 8.8.80 0 feet per unit. The plastic, again, I want to produce 3,170, and it takes 0 0.50 pounds per unit for that one. Bird feeder, we go back to that 2,980. We times it by the 1.2 feet per unit that we need. And we take that 2,980 times the 0.75 pounds per unit that we need for the bird feeder. So, <coughs> I apologize. Um, so what we also need here is the desired units of inventory, December 31st. So we desire to have 220 feet of wood and we need 200 pounds of plastic. We can add these three up. Okay, so we need 6,332 and we need 4,020 pounds of plastic. Now we already had some estimated inventory as of December 1st. So we had 200 feet of wood and we had 240 pounds of plastic. So the total units to be purchased is going to be the difference of those because we don't have to buy that 200 pounds of wood we already had or the 200 feet of wood we already had that. We already had 240 pounds of plastic. Okay, so now we need to purchase 6,132 feet of wood. We need to purchase 3,780 pounds of plastic. How much is that going to cost? Well, we estimated that we needed it's seven dollars per foot for wood, and it's a dollar per pound for plastic. So we can take that 6,132 that we need and we can times it by the $7 per foot. And we can take the 3,780 and it's a dollar per foot. So the total amount of material that we need to purchase in order to produce our bird feeder is 46,704. I'm going to pause here because this is about nine minutes long. On my part two, we will do the direct labor and factory overhead budget.